IG slide, two blue flip Bronco. You're not doing really any clips this quiz. You don't have your, she's not ready for your smokes yet. We don't run smokes yet. Yeah. Okay. You could be running some bullets if you wanted to. Yeah. And you really no walks. Huh? Not ready for dogs. No, because that's smoke. got smokes. Okay. So here we are in slide. Okay, and we treat this just like an overshifted pro set. This is why a lot of times we don't get 20 personnel because it's, unless you run options somewhere about down here, it's hard to beat. Slide, and you got a Bronco call, and you're playing two at the top. One more time. What's your wayside linebacker got in Bronco? Him? Yeah. He's just like blue coverage of past shows. He's a slice player. He just works for lever to the curl. And we think he's playing like a. He's got vertical, nice vertical, and first out. First out. Never crosses the hash. Yeah, the sprint out happens. Here he should be real slow for cutback reverse, which he is, and then pursuit angle. This guy's gonna be good. He's a redshirt freshman tailback. He's from. Uh, there. Now we got a sky call the way it should have been called. Read and write to. Is this a wing adjustment or you got a blast? No, it's a wing adjustment. You got a double bubble in there. Again, these thing safeties are going to show up now. Zero fiddle, we're a man. There's no reason for him to come down because of the motion. This guy? One more time. Okay. He should have stayed right here. Now, on your zero fiddle, should that safety in the middle have work still up at tight end? Well, it vertical? was. It's not fiddle. I, I know. He told him with zero fiddle, like you and I talked the other day, anytime you got a twins, we ch I had him check three. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that he could give help down the middle. We just yeah. gave him a man on the back. The guy that I'm pissed off about know. here is this guy. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know who he thinks is going to cover him. But again, making a lot of calls to make sure that you get everything taught. There's, your There's that damn boot, boot play. Jeez. Zero fiddle versus twins, two back, checks free. It's a little bit like. That's not true. Need, not necessarily. If you, if you need, if you this need game, leverage. I yell from the sidelines and told him to it. If it's an IBAX or something. IBAX, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that. Need it was. Yeah. But as a general rule, IBAX, we stay in a fiddle. We want the back to be over the week. The last one, we'll leave <coughs> one back. Far There's a weak set. Yeah. Right Say it. Far. Far. High or strong? You play the fiddler on the roof. Okay. And the guy who screws this up and saved his butt is him. When this crosses, this free safety should have taken this. And I brought in the guy that hadn't played. He should have had the drag coming across because of the boot action. He should have, this guy would have arrowed out. He had him now because the guy didn't arrow. He's able to pick up the drag for him. Robber rules. See him? Swing deep to three. Three safety is the only guy that screws this whole thing up. What coverage you need, Gary? Two blue. Two blue. Pretty good job on the corner, to be honest. Did Free screws it up? He should have been going with that sail. Free should have been coming across to see the corner. is going to squeeze down and take one vertical. See, they traded. What's your call here again? Two blue. Two blue. Okay. Good job showing. Oh, this is the option boot you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, she 
Now see, any kind of penetration though, and blitzing and stuff, causes this a lot of problems. Ninety-one had a good grip on that six. That's the eight there too. Who's that? That's that back again. We're in cover five. See, and again, I never call cover five in a first down situation or inside, but for teaching purposes, mm -hmm. now I want to see the corner because the corner is the fourth player, and he does really just a great job here coming off and playing pitch, doesn't he? <laughs> Good Velcro. Good Velcro, man. I'm gonna find out spring. Always, it always has amazed me how if we're trying to hold them up, they just run by us. And if they're trying to block us, like he just was, they seem to be able to block us for a long time. Like this, really praise them up, helmet on ball. Okay, we're starting a new series. Threes are up. No, this is two zero. We got two blue sky. Up front, we just got tight G, so it's a list call. Nice job, crack rules and cover two like we covered last night. He kind of cracks, free corner, corner goes to the quarterback. Watch this, the redshirt freshman. That's that number 14's cousin I was telling you about, 21. It's his cousin. He's 6'4, 260, watching room. up to him and then for as soon as I got done he says do I need to say anything else to you too? He said no. I learned when I said something like that I come running and hollering. It's hard to get to an option team. Oh no coach that's your job. Tell you what it's was not bad against is the swoop here if he just went to try to pull himself back inside he was great and just kept working it. Right. Again, biggest thing is you're trying to make it a single block. Right. If it's a single block, he reaches you fast and you get up the field and you beat the tackle, fine. Here he does a good job. It's terrible by the That's another redshirt freshman, I think. He took we took him, his dad played twelve years in the pros. He's from Beaumont, a kid by the name of Robert Pollard. He was a fullback. He's a fullback at two uh, twenty-two and now he's two fifty-three. Squat at 550 and uh, bench 375. I'll probably run a 46 something. Is this two? <clears throat> Let's see here. We got Bronco back here. I wish this guy would line up deeper. And this is two reading left. Line up deeper and then move up? Or? Yeah, well, there's no reason that he can play at eight, and then you can't really tell that's a half or what. I can tell that's man this way. Nice job by the free safety helping with the drag route. And this guy's supposed to look for the late cross. He does. One more time. This is a hard play now. Not very many people defend this play right here. Yeah, this is exactly, oh, throwing it back out to that well, guy. Well, no, even though they're going to just, they're going to throw it over here. Yeah, this is what and that, yeah, This one, our offense, see, this is number two offense line. They got to get better. She didn't ask kick. And that's not exactly what you're going to One more time, coach. coach. So we turn this guy loose down here? The right corner is the Oh, he pulled, oh, he, he, he pulled yeah. a hamstring. That corner runs all the way across with that. Uh, yeah. He will squeeze it down. If he doesn't get a, if he doesn't get a number two threat with the tight end block, then he squeezes down because he's a swing deep guy right here. Three, yeah, uh, three swing deep. Huh? Free safety help the corner. Weak safety help. Because the tight end delay, because this the free safety never sees this guy. He gets lost in the whole thing. Strong's back there being thank you. Uh, I think that's where the offense, other offense has to stand back on. What's your call here? Uh, let's see here. Cover boundary G Army, boundary G Army, cover three. It's not Boundary G Army. Well, it might be with the threes, but it's not. Yeah. They got no army. So cover three. Oh, gotcha. One more time. 
corner still playing way inside, huh? No flat foot by the middle guy. See how that number 36 with his ribs, watch how long it takes. He delivered the hit, now watch it. Can't get up there. I mean, he is. I mean, I give it the admiration to do it, but I mean, gee, me Christmas. See, you can't wrap up. Himself, yeah. Yeah, it's, you can't wrap up. Uh -huh. Wide, two blue flip, corner comes across. Okay, one more time, just go back to that second. All the way back. Okay, so you get, yep. somebody didn't get here the wide call, right? Yeah, these, well, this is what, here's what the problem is. He is our starting strong safety. Uh -huh. We've been working him a weak safety because we have, we have no others. Birds on the field, these guys don't remember, if they're not thinking about it, they don't remember which one they are. Uh -huh. First scrimmage. So I got two strong safeties on the field, and so Russell listens to the read side call. And Bird does, so it takes us about, this is the first time this has happened, because he hasn't been running with the ones, and this is a mess. May include it. Again, you also have that freshman free safety that's never played here. It's not helping him out much. This must be the twos. It is the twos. That's the other shovel. The three shovels of 14. He was a, he was a scholarship quarterback at A&M. Transferred. He's a tight end now. I bet he's really happy. Okay, let's talk about this one for a second. Okay. Give me a call. Uh, I don't know where it went down it's to two. here. Two. We're two down. out here. We check roll. Okay, we got yeah, outside okay. the tackle. And if you had some on, you might get a solo call, but probably not because they're in the sky. Okay, if you had solo on, that happens kind of quick enough that who would make the solo check? Always the same guy, the weak safety. All right. So the one guy can never make a solo okay. check. So up, but I'm, I'm the free safety over here. I'm getting ready to make a roll call. I'm saying roll, 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 but I don't hear the guy in the back saying solo, solo, solo. So you got to play roll. So you got to be playing roll because that's what I call on that side. There's 36 again. I mean, not bad. It's, it's still, he, he needs to go attack the back. He needs to play run first. Start seeing pursuit angles showing up a little bit. You guys run a pursuit drill? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me just pause for a second and see what it looks like. Uh, uh, draw it up there on the board. Now I want to hear about your tackling circuit and your take one circuit too. I know we're starting Rabbits. Wind down here a little bit. On the sideline, they stand. If this if this line on the quarterback. Um, you want to watch any more of that? I don't matter. Me, so whatever you want to watch. We'll go to that two combo. Two combo. But I'm here. I get a defense out front. I'm going to call it coverage mm -hmm. in front. So I'm going to call tight G cover two. Gotcha. Come out. You got your ends. Everybody lines up. I'll give them an arm whichever way. So. They know where to read. So let's just say he says read and left. So you don't actually give him a tight end or anything? Yeah, I'll just go like this. Okay. <clears throat> so it comes out. we got, again, the rabbits are out here. They're five yards behind me. I'll drop back. I'll see these guys will take a step up the field. One step, they're moving their feet. It says we're reading left. I'll see everybody drop to where their drops would be in a perfect drop group. And then what I'll do, I'll never throw the football. All I'll do is I'll, because that's where you screw this, you've always screwed the pursuit up. When you throw the ball, the guy doesn't catch it, you don't bounce there. So all I do is come back and I open. The guy's five yards behind so that you get you get more of a relationship. And then we just we just coach up. And this side guy, 
everything we do, because at one time, where we screwed this up, we used to throw that one to me. Yeah, I got one. Here, throw that one to me. If it's dead, let's bury it. As we come up, everybody coming on angles. The biggest, the biggest kicker to this is when they run by, you don't out of bounds. Uh, you know, he's, he's right inside the line. He's going to run right down the line. So now everybody takes, everybody takes a path as you've all done. Don't cross. You know, he already started over, so he ends up like this. We call this guy insurance. We call this guy money. And we build a ball. The biggest thing is when they get to the guy so that they don't go out of control, they have to touch the inside hip and automatically they don't run off the sideline. They have to turn, sink their hips, turn, and they're facing a the coach. We've got a coach standing here and a coach standing here. We've actually got this from Texas Tech. Well, a couple of little things in it. We've always done this. But then, so when you get done, everybody comes through, touches the guy, except the backside end. The backside end, all he does is shuffle down the line because he's never part of pursuit drill. Mm -hmm. and we don't want him to be. Ball's thrown, so everybody's lined up in the line. Now, if they run past the line, they're going to do it all over again. Because we want him to come on control on the sideline, so the guy doesn't come back. So he blows the whistle. They all sprint up, get a break down, they're done. This group's already started doing the same thing. I've got three groups going at the same, you know, about the same time. They touch the hip, and you said they stop inside the line? They're yeah, when they're going here, I touch the guy, get turned around the line, and move my feet. Because what happens is what happens. The guy goes running over here, and he just, as soon as he touches, he goes running yeah. off the sidelines. Right, right. Okay. That's the, so that's the one you do, right? Yep. Then also what we'll do is we'll put cones outside about the hash, and I'll have split backs. And then I'll also, we'll do a run drill sometimes just to change it up. Where I'll toss it to the guy. So I got a safety out here. I'll see him force. This guy's got to run inside of it. Then get, and then go down the hash here, knock down the sideline. So you see the corner come in from here. You see the free safety from here. And you see everybody else like this. Once that corner tags him, once that safety's in position. Moving your feet. Moving your feet. And then get ready to go to a coach again. Now, with all, in that, we do a perfect drop drill uh, where we're going to start doing this next when we get back, which teaches all the same, but we take the D-line out. We're going to put a guy here in the middle and on the two hashes. We're going to drop back. Then we have uh, guys at five yards that are going to cross the field, young guys. So I'm here, the guy's standing on the hash. So I call Tai Chi cover two. And I show them the strength, so they say, Liz, ring left. So I'm going to drop back, I'm going to, and they're all going to drop in their spaces. First guy in these lines are going like this. So they have to be able to get their head on a swivel. Then these guys are drop. So I'm either going to throw it to one of these, or I'm going to throw it here. But when the ball goes to here, instead of them catching it, because we don't feel like as a drill as far as we're not, we're not paying attention when we get there, do a good job, is they're, going to tip, they're going to tip it. So now. It could go anywhere. You got to be able to react. And how about if you throw it to one of these guys crossing? They're going to tip. They're going to no. They'll catch it. Okay. The biggest thing is we're we're trying to teach leverage and, and you know like shooting a gun. You need to lead them. Another That's what we're seeing our guys doing. Is here he is. The guy's going to throw the ball and the guy breaks. The young guys break like that instead of like that. A, a, a rubber band rule. What's your rubber band rule? Put the rubber band on the guy you're going to, and when you snap it, that's where you go. You don't go to where he's running. That's, that's I never thought of it that way. That's um, but uh, that drill there also teaches you to work deep to shallow. Because if they're crossing and they start to come yep. up on those guys and you throw it behind. Well, we've always done just a perfect drop drill and break on them. We've done three steps, sprint out, and so we can teach how, you know, how to pull the field, pull the chain, do all that stuff. So we've been doing that. Now the second step is going to get the crossing routes get crossing routes and get the ball thrown down the field. Okay. What else? Um, tackling circuit? Yeah, tackling circuit. Well, the biggest thing Fran changed, we changed two years ago, I think it's helped because of enthusiasm. Is this early in practice? Or is yeah, we do this the first end? period. If we do takeaway or tackling circuit, we do it right at the beginning of practice. Okay. 
is that we have mal move. Coaches used to do you do went clear to the sidelines when you knew you did stations. He makes us move into the hash. So here's the 30. So we're clearing at the hash. So we're it's like this. So you got four stations at the 30, 30, and 30. So they're not running very far. It's a high enthusiasm deal too. Now the first tackling circuit is what we call button latch. What it is is you have film of this, right? I do have film of it, but not with you here. Not here. Okay. Is we take we put two, when we do tackling, we do it mostly with all bags, and they have to hold them tight. When we do circuits, and everybody does different drills where they go their own. But what happens is we'll have two bags laid in between here, and there'll be usually eight. There'll be four stations. So come up here, guys. The guys will step on this side, get a bag. There'll be a tackle on this side. And then anybody extra is behind these lines. This guy's going to work off these two bags. So you two are holding bags. Okay? Stand up right next to tight. Tight, tight. If you're a DB or a linebacker, I'm going to start whistle blows. What we're going to teach them is we're going to run through. We're going to run through and we're going to snap like a snake. We're seeing all the things. Run your feet, bring your, hip, bring your hips, run your feet, club, grab cloth. And the guy, I've got a young coach that will stand right behind me back here. And the two things he's watching is eyes, because the bad tacklers close their eyes, and hands. So I'm going to drive. Okay, and I get the whistle. I'm going to drive through him. I'm not going to try to pick him up. Boom. Snap like snake, driving back. When I hear the whistle, I'm going into a back throw. When I get back in front of him, so we're going to try to teach technique as we're going here, be under control. Boom. As soon as this guy gets done, there's the two guys with the bags. Boom, 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 you go down the line, rotate. So we'll start, safety's here, corners will start at Thurman Station, D -line, linebackers start at scoop and score, and D-line starts at a cross. No, I, I'm not sure I understand that. Do you end up tackling somebody? Well, we're we're driving through them, but we don't take them to the ground. Okay, so I'm working on the first bag. They got a bag. Wrap okay. up, whistle, oh, around your feet. As soon as you get to them, they take a step forward. Okay. And if they do that, they should be able to get a great pop. We, the reason we do it, because when you do it without a bag, here's what happens after you do the drill very long. They start jumping, they get in. So for about the last six, seven years. So I hit the first bag, then I back up. Back foot in front of the second bag. Second bag. Drive through it, blow the whistle, you're done. You're done, okay. Next group's going. Be careful. Next three. Now these guys, well, then the next, then I'm right here to the next group. I'm right in between these cones, and then they keep rotating around until they're done. How far is the tank we're off? Three yards. We're right here. Not a high, not a high speed deal. Now, like backers and safeties and corners, all back pedal back in front. D line do draw replace. So when they tackle, as soon as the whistle blows, they they plant their step, and now they come back just like if they rushed up the field to get back in front of the guy, and they're driving through again. Now the big coaching point is the guys holding the bags tight, or you can't get your arms around the shields. Shields, and you got to take that step forward, or they get knocked on their butt all the time. And then they're just backpedaling or yeah. turning, going back to three. Then, yeah. Yep, just get back right down here. And the biggest thing we're trying to every time, minute of the day, we're trying to teach them one more time of learning. They're working on backpedal or whatever they do. Ben, and also you got uh, T plan or whatever you teach there with okay. the transition. Okay, exactly. Now the next one Thurman has, and this is the open field tackle. We'll have, uh, so get it bigger. There's a cone sitting here. These are three yards apart. Here's two lines standing back here on both sides. Use this pen here, Gary. So this. Okay. Two, they're about 10, well, about seven on each side. One's, one's got the bag, one's, one's the tackler. And what we're teaching now is the biggest thing you have, and we, we felt like the new problem last year, we've moved these closer together. They're going to start up. Going to start up. We're going to run. The ball carrier, the runner, the tackler is going to get here, and he's going to stop and settle. So like, like he's in open field, and the guy caught the ball, and here it comes at him. The guy going to come when he gets when he gets to the cone. The running back now is going to come to 45, not make an angle. Because you know what happens when you get real close. What's the first thing a natural young player does? The guy cuts right here on me. Feet. He, 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 he jumps. He reaches out for him. So what we're teaching with the bags now, I get here, I want to teach him to run his feet through and get his butt around. We want to get our hips around. So now we're teaching an open field tackle. Come here, stop. This guy comes up and makes a move. I drive through him and get my butt around. Bring down his hips. 
Drive my feet till I hear a whistle. Blow. Yep. Then Chris has got got it here, and they, then they rotate around. Now Mark teaches back here. He's got three bags. And how far apart did you say these guys were, Coach? Seven, about seven from their deal, so they come running out. Oh, got the shield. Yeah, got the shields. Now Mark's got the drill ball. The cones are called three. Three. Now back here, Mark's got scoop and score, and all he's doing is standing right here. And these guys are going through the bags, boom, 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 and he's going to throw the ball on the ground. If they can pick it up, and you see, we've, we've this scored. This is the next station? Yeah, this is the third station now okay. of the four. We scored 11 touchdowns on defense in two years. Five of them have been picking the ball off the ground running for a touchdown. Okay, really what it is, you come across, as you step with the bag, he's going to let, he's going to twirl it or bounce it. If the ball bounces up and I can pick it up going this direction, it's a touchdown. If I miss it or I did it, I get down on it in traffic. That's all he teaches there in this deal. This is in your tackling circuit. Tackling circuit. But you're not tackling any just... I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Okay. That's our first takeaway. He's doing string out. So now, first guy in front of the line, as you guys do it, breach drill, we teach turn the helmet, the pad. If their fingers don't stay up, if their fingers come out at all, they're doing it again. Any of the three. Got it, got it. We're going to turn the helmet. Get as low as they do, turn it. And as soon as I get off the block, I work up the field. The next guy in line, as soon as he sees him get off the block, is coming to cut. Plays him, and then you make the tackle on the third guy. Boom, boom, boom. They just keep rotating around. What was the point? Of the first hand. Well, yeah, what happens is hands your hands right. come down, your eyes come down. Right. So you got to yeah. get as low as he does. So if I come here when I turn, hey, if I smack the helmet and my if I if my thumbs stay up, my fingers stay up, I'm fine. But what will happen is they go. When they do that, I do that. Now I like I I turn helmet and shoulder pad. Right. And the other thing that we're learning, a lot of people are saying is that they try to get both hands on the hat. We're, ha we're helmet shoulder pad. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth drill, now so we're teaching leverage. Get your hips down. Fourth drill, square drill, stand has. Bag holders are standing right here, five yards apart. This guy's told to run a straight line. This guy's going to tackle him again. We're working on close collision and getting the hips around. Again, the worst thing that happens is with players is those guys, when you when the guy comes up, is he hits and then the guy drags it. He doesn't get his hips around. So we really it's a real working on, what we're really trying to work on is we get here and then we want to sink the hips and we want to bring them underneath us and we want to come around. With hat across you? Yeah. And actually what we do is we're going to try to go through we're going to try to go through to get his air hole right there. Inside ear, inside eye to ear hole. And then they're back down here. When we get going, we get this all done in five minutes. They get one tackle. This is the one that we gauge it off of. This takes the longest. So when that one's done, that guy blows the whistle. Yeah, I'm, what happens is, when we get going, I stand right here. And usually what I try to do when he can come down, I let him do it. Coach Fran does all this. And that way I can go coach. Throw me that dead in there, there so you put me in. All right, good. Takeaways. Okay, we got a takeaway A, we have a takeaway B. And the reason we went to it is it's different things, and they got bored with the first. They get bored with the first one. Here, first station. Again, we're on the hashes. First station, we have balls with straps on them. We have the guys sew straps and they have handles. We work strip and we work punch with partners. So we have about 10 to 12 balls, and the ball is, is like this. And what it does, it has a, it has a strap on it that's about, about three foot long. What the guy with the ball has, he's got the ball in the hand, and he's got the strap around his fingers. Because the worst part about it is you're chasing balls everywhere. So what you got I the strap. Like the way we do it when we and so we first thing, if the guy behind you is just jogging this fast, you're going to work both arms going back, and then the party comes back. So the first thing we're going to do is strip. Secure the tackle. Strip. So he knocks it out, the ball's still in the hand, he just pulls the strap up and get it, you put it in the other hand. Here, secure the tackle, strip, then they turn around and come back, and then secure the tackle, punch. And that's where the balls go everywhere. Now you're on the strap and it only goes three feet, pull it back in, keep going. All I had to do was the equipment guy just took some old balls, 
and he put straps on them. Huh? No, because we actually, actually where I started, Bump and I got it. We started doing it at uh, Utah State. Uh -oh. I mean at uh, Naval Academy. They even sew the damn thing on I don't know how they do it either. I never looked that close. So that's where one first group starts. Then Thurman's got drill where they're just coming at him. So it's going to be just running rapid fire, pass ball, Oski, firing straight at him. When they all get through. Then what he's going to do is come down to him because we want to start making an emphasis about catching the ball over the shoulder deep ball. So now it's going to be a hit. They start the back though, then they open up. He's going to try to throw it like a deep ball. We're going to make him go up and play the ball. Another because we've never done that in the drill, and we added that to that. When D lineman get here, he gets down on a knee like this, makes him come up, and they're running straight at him. And without saying anything, he's just going to go like this. And so what we're doing is. We're making them catch the ball, but the other thing we're trying to do is we're another time we're trying to make them start working getting their hips down. Because you got to, for them to catch, don't throw the ball up near. I mean, they throw it down here. So what happens is the D lineman got to come over here. You got to save his hips. You catch it, so it's just another drill that what we're doing. Because it's not nothing really for them to do at this drill. Now the other thing that we'll do here for them is well we'll get the other table. Right. So that's what happens at this station. The third station I already told you is the scoop and score station. They're stepping over, rolling the ball, either pick it up and run with it or fall on it, depending on whether you're going forward or back. Fourth station, if you're a safety, a corner, or really anybody now. Corners don't do it as much. Stan has a big one of those stand-up pop-up dummies, has arms. He stands there with the ball. There's a guy on this, there's two lines like this, they're going this way. He stands there and holds the ball of the dummy. Whichever side is, this guy's going to come up it's like a running smokes or your defense mm -hmm. man. That guy is going to strip. This guy's got to find the ball. And the other point we went into, this guy used to lay there. Now everybody get, you got to get up. Everybody got to chase the ball again, just like this one. If you can pick it up on the run, pick it up. If you can't, you fall on it. Okay. The other thing they'll do with corners there is he will do tip drill some, just because they don't get a chance really to blitz or they don't play the quarterback that often. Which drill is your indicator when to switch? Okay, the uh, the one that is the indicator is right is the one down here with the uh, with the handles where they have the ball on the straps. Once they get two, once they get a strip each side. Yeah, and, and, each and side. punch each side, then we're done, and then we'll rotate again. We'll get this all done within five minutes. Okay. We first teach them in the spring, and we'll use ten minutes to make sure because we got young guys, and then mm -hmm. once we get going, we don't we don't waste much time. Okay. Whatever it takes to get done, then we're out of there. Okay. Now takeaway B. Takeaway B, then we're down here where we start, we'll have two big bags. If you're a DB linebacker, a DB linebacker or corner, corner safety or linebacker, Rick's going to stand here, you're gonna, there's going to be a line, first guy gets in here, we're going to drive with the bags like we do in robber covers, everything. If you catch it, great. If you don't get to it, then you've got you to make the tackle. You're going you're to try to run over the bag. Those are big pop-ups. That's what one you do, right? Where you? Now, when the D line gets there, we use another strap deal. Because both there'll be two D linemen get down here in three point staff, he'll say set go. The strap now will be about six feet long. What he will do is he will drop back, and when he goes to throw here, that guy has to get his hands up and he will throw the ball and they'll have to hands, eyes, tip it. This guy runs through. So you don't this guy doesn't you train him not to stop when he's not the guy where the ball is thrown. So if the guy has to double clutch, he runs through it. The other part when they get bored with that with the D lineman, we will put all four of them in front of him, we'll do a volleyball drill. He'll get about four, three footballs with the manager, and the four guys will stand there, and he'll go just like this. But take all those balls as fast as he can get them, and we're just teaching them to try to take their hands and eyes up and find the ball so on the line of scrimmage they can tip it. That only lasts about 10 seconds a group because they can get real, those guys get tired real fast. Second drill, Thurman's. Thurman goes again to whatever kind of ball drill he wants, he wants, he wants to teach. Tip drill. It's one of them he'll use. Uh, we'll work on some more 45s if we need to, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be have something concerning catching the football here. The fourth drill now up here, Parksy does the one we just talked about, the, the elbow strip. So he has a ball carrier with a strap, tackler, tackler, puncher. So the tackler is going to come in. If the ball's on this side, tackler, he's going to tell him to put it in the right hand. This guy's going to tackle from behind. This guy's going to run in from this side, elbow up, 
wrist down. Elbow up, wrist down. Ball going to fall out, they got to get on it. And the coaching point to that is, used to when we first started teaching, we try to do it at once. They slap harder than they pull. So what they have to come in, it's very important to make sure they get the elbow up before this comes down. Or they miss the elbow. I'm going to tell you, you feel like, you feel like you're breaking it. When you're trying to hold in tight, and they do that. Stan, Stan's over here, we're just going to teach him how to recover fumble. Reach out and get it, not try to just, you know, waller on it. So, they'll be down, you're right here, turn around. He'll do it two ways. He'll either make them turn around and get it, or he'll put them down on the ground. He'll put them on the ground on his knees, and he'll toss it one way, and they're on the ground, so now they have to reach out, pull them in, and cuddle it. Because the worst thing happens, you know, you go, when you, even on the ground, the guy, yeah, he keeps, keeps doing it, keeps bumping away from it. Reach out, take strong hands, pull it in, cradle. And that's our two takeaways. Do this how often? Uh, one, we'll usually do takeaway A or B on on Tuesday, and then tackle and circuit on a Wednesday, or vice versa. During the season. During the season. About probably three quarters away, we quit doing them. And how about spring ball? Spring ball, we'll try to do them every day. We'll do either pursuit with all the the cross routes. You know, we have perfect drops. Build any of that in. Either a pursuit, a takeaway, or a tackling. They prefer not the tackling circuit because it wears their bus out. That one's a hard one. Everything again we tackle, we try to do with shields as much as possible. a little uh, two combo. Go for it. Cool. So we'll cover two combinations. And, uh, two combo. Anybody else? No, I'm going to have to go through. I'm going to have to go through a draw two full days of football. I have to go through a draw tomorrow. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 feel lonely. <laughs> Let me see. I had some other real. I'll get your slide for a little so I got that. So what do you think of all this stuff? You can be honest, you always have with you. <laughs> My view on it is why offensive guys for so many years have been able to have all the fun. Every one of those <laughs> things has got answers, so that's good. Uh, when you bless them. I swear there was a kid from Blaine that was going the other way. Did a guy visit there from Blaine? Not this year. Yeah. So what, what's the personality of the defense they like when they just player wise? They love the blitz, move around. We kind of build it into them, though. It's not like we're really good true man players. Yeah. We're not like that. But they, they don't like to sit still. They ever talk to you about zone or man? Are my guys? Do, do the players ever talk to you? About oh well, no, because really it's still uh, from the very first day of understanding when they said in the paper, when they said in the paper that you got an interception. This is the way I teach it. They don't say that you did a 360 and you fell flat on your back and you caught it one-handed. They just say it's an interception. So if you could talk somebody into throwing the ball to you and it hits you in the chest, it counts the same thing. And that's really kind of how we, we talk about our man and zone type structure. We're going to play both. Even in our zone structure, you've got a lot of man principles, except true 3D. And like I was telling Willie, everything we teach is about the same within all the techniques. And it's going to be your job to use them to your advantage. You have any spot drop covers? Just to cover three. But you have cover three. And then hard, you know, cover five as much as we can. But that's, that's it. anymore. It's just really, it's just really hard. It's all match zone. So. It's really hard. Match zone so man's all you're doing. Always felt like there is a time. It's phenomenal to me when 
every now and then you just call a spot drop and it fucks up the quarterback. Because they're waiting for you to jump, you know, to close in on the routes and hit the windows and all that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, you know, they just throw it right to you. You know, that's against our offense just coming through. What you saw the other day, you just line up and... Or just do it. I mean, it's just kind of like, and you just run back there and they're used, and they're used to you matching up to the routes. And you do it and they'll, you'll move yourself over to it. And then all of a sudden you just stand there and they'll just throw it right to you. It's the damn thing I've ever seen. I'm talking maybe four times a game. And I would agree with that. Yeah, you just do it sometimes. Just now, see... Right middle. See, for underneath, for us, and maybe that's why we have so much success. Our robber covers the field is basically that. I mean, you're telling a strong safety just to run the flat. Unless number three runs a swing on him, he yeah, doesn't. you're not going to run the flat for no one out there with Harvey. No, so but he's pretty that. close to that. That's my point. You know, that's, I mean, that's a just match. So, I mean, if you, they got a bunch of more in place, you're going to have a bunch of more in place. If they've got them scattered all over the field, you're going to be scattered all over the field. But when you just start out there, it's zone off and break for the ball. Just now, now I tell you one of the things the Cowboys said last year when we went there, they have what they call, and they did it like in third and short, they'd have make what they call the hard call. Out of five. Yeah. yeah. And what it told them is to back up and never want them getting read a wide receiver. And that's something we may try try the spring. All they did was read the quarterback. Oh. So if you did come up or zero fiddle to the read side, so that and so let's say zero fiddle, uh, let's say let's do it better, let's go 2-5, okay? Field G set, 25. Now that allows me to get my free safety back on the on the guard. So when they go motion, which most of the time they run back in the boundary to the 50 side against us, back here. If you wanted, we could put that film in, I'm, this will look exactly like it. So now I'm 5, I'm the half player, I'm the quarterback player, I'm the quarterback player. If I call two blue, then I'm the bail, quarterback player, I'm the pitch player, and I'm the quarterback player. But it allows me to get that three deep look back there that you want with the robber player. So now when they go here, I'm actually helping pick it up because you changed the strength motion with this guy. When he went motion, I was reading left, he went like this. I shuffled, and then I play that guy before I run the alley. Okay, now the, let's just say you had field G blue Q, mm -hmm. okay? Where's that end, that end of the field lining up on that slot? Well, if you just call field G, he's in a five. Mm -hmm. Not even on the slot. Okay, but he's still going to sit he, on a field no, block. Only if I call a sit, he'll he close down the field. Huh? Okay. Well, I know. But you have to do something because when they start going to these sets, when it gets to this thing, it has it all becomes different. But that's this year, on a daily basis, that is the way we will play the Eagles side. We will play a sit call, period. Because they don't do anything to us. Air Force didn't do it to us. We got to play Navy and we got to play Rice. And so I'm going to shoot whoever's Eagle scheduled. Eagles side going to be an automatic. I mean, that's yeah, all three of them. This no, year. but we got two out of three, and you they're totally Rice. different. You got Rice, and Navy. This year you got Navy. Yeah, I mean they're number one in the nation for running the football. Where are, you, where are you playing? There. At Navy. Yeah. Welcome home. Huh? Yeah. Welcome home. Anchors away, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Chuck. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Now, now that's the get... stunt that really helped up front when we're playing everything is just a name call. Uh -huh. First the same side beer, now you really close that mesh down when they're trying to step down and they are going back here. Which one did we run against uh, Ohio our first year? We called zero pitch or zero, zero load. load. And zero load. Who was it? Uh, Schultz? Was it yeah. Schultz? We lost our starting strong. We, we were playing with. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. But what, um, how about if you got both wideouts on the same side? We play. If, there, if there's somebody that does that, we will make a flip call with it. Okay. And obviously, it's unbalanced. The inside corner will turn inside of that guy and play pitch. You got to be careful against Navy because they do that. They do what? Put the guy on the line, put this guy off, and then he's eligible. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we found out, an ineligible player, this is Paul Johnson of Georgia Southern, an ineligible player can catch the ball behind the line of scrimmage. So what they came up with is the guy was ineligible. So what he did was. Bowling. Bowling. Yeah. <laughs> 
an ineligible player can catch the ball behind. Yeah, he's on the line. He can catch it lateral. He can't catch a full yeah. yeah, and you know who else did this? Colorado State did it. They threw it back to a guard on the goal line. Yeah. You can catch a lateral. No yeah. Anyone can catch a lateral. Anybody can catch a lateral. They throw it. They sprint out. They run there. All the receivers across the field, and the guard leaks out the backside, and they throw it. They Don't throw a lateral. Talent coach these things. <laughs> 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 And you know we thought it's we thought it's a bad pass, right? No, we had, we look at the rule book. It's it's legitimate. Just never seen it before. Strategic. Now, how about, how about if the team's playing with uh, a tight end, two slots, and one wide? Thirty-one personnel. First answer is we're going to slide this. No matter what the front. So let's just say tight G or tight. We're going to slide it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to decide to play two or blue or whatever we decide to do over here. So you're going to be reading right on that side there. Huh? Reading right because that's the twin side, just like your normal. I tell you, you know what the play is. We work. You work night. You work 100% of the time on option. Well, actually 98 because on against rice we work counter ISO. Okay. This year, only 47% of the time did they run any option. Mm -hmm. Which that's an option. They ran. They run counter ISO. They run quarterback ISO follow. They run the little fullback belly here where they go down, down. They double everything. This guy kicks out. They run it off, off through Buddy. If you try, you can't pinch him anymore. You can't pinch inside because these guys, they just wash and roll into the outside. Mm -hmm. What was your full call there? Tight G slide. Tight G slide and uh, either blue or two blue or, again, going back to zero pitch. Zero pitch. And then, Chuck, the other one I forgot on the double slot. Okay, no. Well, you said blue over there. Okay, I got you. You had your corner up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you can play it the opposite way mm -hmm. if you want to. But, um... Did you ever cue that there? No. Well, yeah, we have with this guy. This guy comes in. whole thing is we're going to read this guy. If he comes inside, and that's one thing I want to remind you of. People aren't running. They're not running midline out of double slot anymore because of the look we just gave you. Because, you know, with the inside very used to be able to play the robber coverage. Mm -hmm. You could give a three deep look, but they don't allow you to do that anymore because what you've got to be able to do, and that's why we started using the cue call and started showing a four three look, is when this guy fans for midline loaded, when they read the three, he's going to step around and they're going to block him. This guy has got to be able to read this guy. When he comes inside, he stays outside the block. He's got to fold and be the, the, the next quarterback. Yeah, that's what we did. And these guys are pitch player. <clears throat> okay, have to do it. Now, what they're, here's what they're doing though. Here's what Rice and Air Force are doing. They're bringing this guy around. This guy's coming inside. This guy's coming blocking. Is, is coming double leap to the quarterback. He's taking and he's going blocking this guy. And now they're running with it. Yeah. So it's loaded on the inside. Oh, yeah. It's it's like a starburst a little effect. Freaking like wham. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, it is. You know, quarterback's carrying it. Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of plays we get from Rice anymore. I mean, it's, they got us a little bit of an option, but we've given up two touchdown plays in third, fourth and short on that little belly play we pinched, and the guy slid the outside and make a tackle when we got beat 14 to 12 by him in our house. And this then he year. went up, huh? This year. Two years ago. And then last year, it was like at the end of the ball game, and we're trying to make things happen. The guy slides outside, and no one touched him. He runs right on a tight end side and runs right by us. Oh, yeah. four. Last year was four. This year was 42-14. Threw an intercept, two interceptions for touchdowns and two balls over her head. 28 points. 28 points on interception for touchdowns and balls over her head. 42-14, they beat you? Yeah. We were ahead 14 to nothing. This year, last year, the year before, was 14-12. It's one of those things where you know how you get a turnout. <laughs> you know how it. I can tell you, we turn it on. Uh, I'm only kidding, but believe me, I know. <laughs> now, Air Force, which they're ranked 14th in the nation, we beat them the year before. Yeah. On the same year, we got beat 14 to 12. 
The difference is, in the alley, the linebacker makes the play in the alley. This last year on turf, we're about he, he grabs and he don't reach him. You know, kind of that. It's our first year. We're playing Ohio. The first, correct me if I'm wrong, the first five times we go on the field, we're inside of our own 30. We get... Yeah, we stopped them. We stopped them. Three or four three times. Or four, three of the four times, got turnovers back again or stopped them on fourth down. Then we get a punt blocked and they get the ball inside there, and that's when they got their first touchdown. And even with that, I think we went into the half losing 14 to nothing. They scored on like yeah, the second last touch game. Oh, right. They're two <laughs> minute 50 yard line, and they ran the freaking belly. Was it the belly? The give. Oh, the, just the give. And we were in uh, we were in load, and our safety went outside, and something happened in there, and the freaking guy runs 50 yards for the touchdown. Well, I'll tell you this much: they're totally different on grass than they are on turf. We played them real well that first half, and we played the shit. Sounded like you did a great job. I tell you, I've just about come down sometimes. I, SMU has done the best job on Rice of anybody I've seen. And they've stunned about every freaking down. When they get in double slots, they take their ends. Why don't you make a note to have Warren see if he'll send his head? Ends are like this. They line up in the slots. Their ends are like this, and their back are stacked behind it. And they play double twos. And sometimes they come down hard. They take the dive. Sometimes I don't think they got anybody on dive. Next a stunner again. Yeah, well, I mean, we used to do, in fact, this year, he took our Rice game plan from the year before, the slide package, and he beats Rice, I mean, what, 21 to 3 or whatever it was, and gets it. So we come up and use the same stuff. Hell, yeah, she hit that. Woo! Here we go. I'm glad we came down here. Less than that, though, really, seriously. Better have something different. Yeah. They knew damn well. Well, I tell you, the other thing they did is I. I think, our, I think Hardy McCurry set me up. He had me talk to the Lone Star Clinic when we talked on option. Uh, the year the year after we beat they beat us 14 to 12. So I'm down talking on option, and I think he took the tapes and handed them to Rice. I went to when I went to visit Navy. Did I tell you? Because that guy came from Ohio, defense coordinator. And he said they liked they played fifty against the option because it gave. They're their own teams a lot, their own team. He yeah. wouldn't get into it. He wouldn't, he wouldn't give me any secrets because he's got a lot of buddies that are highly playing. Mm -hmm. No, we're, we're, that's one of the things versus double slot. I think we're going to play because I think our 95 is our three technique. We're going to play a nose guard. I think that they'll have they'll have a lot of problems. And we run too well on the outside with our hands and our safeties. Now the key is they got a good pullback. Now can you hold up because you don't play a 50? But we're going to work on it three days in spring, at the end of spring, the last three days. We did that. We did that. Two days and two days. And so you're seeing it three times, right? Uh, we're going to see it twice this year. Co coaching, between coaching at Navy, coaching at Navy, coaching at, and then playing Air Force also at New Mexico and then our house. We do. And Rice every day. You know the most amazing thing is they're all different. Yeah. Rice is a power team to run the counter ice. So if you don't stop that, they'll never run the option. Mm -hmm. Navy is is they hate four four down, you know, four yards. And yeah. Air Force can throw the heck out of the ball. That year we played Ohio, they threw it three times. They were over for three. It was good for our pass. That's why we were in the top twenty that year in pass defense. Yeah, right. Hey. <laughs> whatever it takes to keep your job. Huh? Yeah, we got beat 31 to fucking something. 31 to 7 or something like that. Wasn't it? First year? Oh, yeah. We got to have massacre. Second half. That was just us. I hate that little stadium. Just that all those kids behind you just piss you off. We beat, them six to, we beat them 6 to nothing. We beat them 6 to nothing. They ragged us for the whole time we were there. We never had a problem shutting them down. Even when we got fired, the old staff, they couldn't fucking move the ball or nothing. They throw in a covered up receiver that was ineligible, caught a touchdown. Two of them. Yeah. Twice. We first got here, Kyle showed covered up. He just runs down there and covered him because he's ineligible. Unbalanced. Unbalanced. The guy stayed in, right? Covered up. He ran down the field twice. And they do it on purpose. Yeah, they do. They know the official goal. Okay, well, let's watch a little of this two combo here. That's cheating. Cheating. That's cheating. Here. Whoa. So you guys can make a call. I'll sit here and 
Huh? You guys can make the call. Because no, it should it should read the call up there, I think. To combo tape. Pause. You got it, you got your mark. It's baby. when you played them, Gary? Who? Oh, you? Oh, oh, we were at, I was at Utah State. Uh-huh. You it's played, them, game, you played huh? them before they were option team, right? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> They're pretty not good on defense. Like the burger was there? Hey, it's wide too, huh? Was yeah. Was yeah. That's when they were having a deal where it wasn't he sick and the defense coordinator life was kind of acting like the head coach and then when the guy finally came back, there, yeah. was, there was turmoil between them. Sounds like Johnny Majors. Too blue. Now, all of this might have had a solo or stuff with it, but the calls turned out the way it would have been yeah, called. Too blue? Yeah. Okay. Well, Once again, a two blue now. If that tight end went straight to the flat, that corner would play him, and this guy would go over the yep. top and play him, right? Exactly. So really, they're like in a banjo right there, yep. right? Yep. That's correct. So this guy, what does he have to do? Tell me what he's doing. Pass shows he just needs slice. He just leverage on the curl. So he's working with anything the curl. That's on that. Any curl backs leverage off or right. anybody from the other side, he's yep. ready to play, right? He, yes, that's exactly. He's like the strong safety down here. And we all ought to know what we're doing here with two. Right now, what kind of call is he giving this guy here? Nothing. Nothing. So nothing. I'm just going to just get depth. That's right. Start to look for something coming from inside. Yep. And he's going to zone flip on this right up here. Up. Yep, that, that, that deal is slippery now. See those sand marks, sand lines? Uh -huh. They're about a foot long because there's rain down there, and so I mean, this feels bad. That's the old side over there was TCU fans. You would know by watching our stands at home games that we had that many TCU people. There's more people go to the bowl games than come to our home games. Really, you'd like that linebacker, the wayside, to work wide outside of the guy. Yeah. And I was telling you one of the things we didn't feel like we did a really good job of that we're doing a better job this spring is the wayside linebacker working outside. Okay, now Gary, your whole cut up here now, the first one was two blue. So all these, the, you don't have all the two blues together, right? Yeah, I just got to see. It could end up being two blue here. This ends up being two blue because he doesn't, he doesn't have anything. The question here was whether he did check solo because either they checked roll we played two with it. Looks like he played two at the top and we got a solo call at the bottom. Now what problem you don't really have any problems if he checks roll and this guy checks solo. No, I just said no secure vertical. against number three if on the vertical. Right? Any just all vertical. Now you got a lot of vertical players. Okay. And really that's really the only time you're really communicating from one side to the other. Yeah. Pretty much, right? Yes. Your solos. Exactly. Struggles. Whenever you cross the line of the center. Set down here, this thing, and down here is what? Well, so the away back has got the back, right, Gary? Correct. Now, he's not taking him because of the huh? The depth? Yes, he crossed short when it's not, but Reggie ends up, and Reggie, because the boot action, Reggie ends up picking this up and then helps lay. Really, what I'd like to happen here in the corner, we'd like to come see on. come off on the on the wheel you didn't get it. and the free safety seat. Now, watch it. Here's a great point of him. Let's see here when you get to depth. See how the free safety plays the post route right here. Now he he holds too long because the corner. He doesn't think the corner is going to come off. It's pretty smart on his part. Now should he have been making a wheel call right now? And a great chance that he did. Okay, so that corner should have come off. The corner didn't come off. But if that corner had, well, I guess he's okay. But see, see I amazing, think he hung because he didn't. To me, is I, I don't really remember doing this, but. You know, to me, that's a little bit of a short split. So I I'm probably would have been more maybe on the inside shoulder. But you guys really keep your inside position, even on short splits, don't you? He's too far inside. Yes. Yeah, that type of split. He should be more on the true one by one by seven instead of where he's at. Okay. 
And once again, um, G scoop last two blue. So this is probably going to be 12 personnel. Ah, uh, good chance. 12. Yeah, it is, and that's a tight end in the backfield. Okay. Scoop. Right. Should he be down here? Scoop. 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 No, because there's a tight end at the top. He's going back to balance. Oh, there's a tight end at the top. Yeah. Oh, this is no, the, no, it's incorrect. Goodbye. Scoop. It should. It should have been. It should be. But I think they. Now they're near pro. Yeah. No, you're right, he is at the bottom. So he should have been here. Well, it's one back. He doesn't have to come up that far, Chuck, yeah. with the scoot. Looks like the backers are already scooted, yeah. Well, in scoot, they go automatically. Yeah. The they don't wait for him. No. Not if it's not if it's, it's a, a single tight end. Not if it's a single tight end, like spread one back. Mm -hmm. And you actually want him to hold it, and then he would come up late. Yes. I see, only, see, you know it's a solo call with Scoop because watch the free safety now with two going out. See him come look mm -hmm. at the one on the rotter mm -hmm. and the free safety. See, I don't even think it was a solo call because if you watch the weak safety, he's looking he, he ends up and looks like blue moves. reads going back and he's doubling on the so number one receiver. Solo. Yeah. No solo one. So just two blue. What he's doing here is because number three doesn't go vertical, he turns it into robber coverage. The three does. Down here at the bottom. Same ends up one three. Oh, so you're saying this was a uh, Mike ends roll, up slice. could be in just like roll, or he treated it like he didn't even get out of the backfield. He just treated it like cover sure. two. Right. So he treats it like cover two. Now tight end works down the middle. He turns his shoulders. He turns and plays robber with it. He robs yeah. number one. So they got a wheel call. Mike should be slicing here, Gary. On the backside. Yes. Yeah, but he'll be. And he should work wider. He first played play action here, so no, I don't, I don't remember what he did here. Go ahead. Okay, I'm getting my scoop, so I'm in a 10, right? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Versus one tight end. Okay, one tight end. Because it's automatic. I'm in a 50 over here. Yep. Okay, if I'm deeper right here, right, okay? Yep. Okay, and I get five-yard depth, and they run the belly right here. He cuts that back. You feel from there he can get there to make well, it? Well, you, you already made my see my free safety make the cutback play even from a robber, which that's where you'd be able to split inside at under D three yards. Because my guy, don't he doesn't back up whatsoever. And then, and then I, I asked that earlier, and you said something like, well, if, if, if they if do that, you're going to get we do is we, up. He lines up there if he's in a solo call, Chuck. Yeah. He lines up here if he's in a solo. No, up back where he's at. So he can vertical three. He doesn't have. He never gets closer than seven or eight yards when he's in a solo. But if, if I call sky over here, huh? If you're in roll, then he could be up. Then, then I could be up in a sky or what we call. I was telling these guys earlier, a vice, which means we'll look like a sky call and, and we'll down. actually double the backside guy. Okay. All right. And you were going to make a point here. You wanted to point something out. Well, just watching the west side linebacker, Shannon. Needs to work the west side backer needs to work wider here. Uh huh. Sure, he's one. He probably wants to just kind of stay over the top of that guy. I don't want to jump him, right? Well, he's actually see the back going out weak because he's the slice player. He should work out the, the back. He should work him. weak out of the top of the field. The guy walling's a good job of walling it, but I mean, where he was at isn't a bad problem. The guy at the top needs to widen. He needs to widen because that's new number two coming out. He's the slice player. Now, he might have been reading the quarterback's eyes and just came back in, as you can see right there. But like I was saying, Shannon lead tackling. He'll probably be the lead tackle on the field again this year and still coverage-wise. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're playing this Wide, here. two blue. Yeah, because I was wondering about this in your blue. You can get it because you're playing this like a banjo on these two. And you don't have what we call an arrow rule, which you call a me rule with him on him. That's how you get away by doing it. I remember talking to those guys at Old Miss. That's what they did with that, too. Now, we're and starting to do now, we're taking this linebacker the spring, and we're working him faster in the flat now. We're working him outside faster. Try to help us with more of that stuff. 
But here, see, number two is going to work. He calls wheel. Reggie gave too much ground, though. This is a great throw earlier. He's going to get it. He needs to slow down and play this guy on the, on the, on the curling out. Now, this is a great point down here at the bottom. Watch the free safety turn around to the post once number two doesn't do anything. Read and write at the bottom. Free safety just takes it. See how he runs to the goal post yeah. and the guy can't yeah. outrun him? Yeah. yeah. So basically, he turns it into three deep. Again, you see the open step. This is East Carolina. Good throwing team, Steve Logan, genius. Why are they not just throwing speed outs and stuff like that? Well, for us, I think because they're worried about it. That guy right there. Wheel you're playing blue up top. Are you doing blue up top here? Yes. But your backer doesn't have to widen. You should be able to widen. So he got caught play action, and then he works out of there. He's still in a he's still in a slice though, right? Yes. Yes. And if they'd have called, is that a meat call too to him? If that guy goes up right away, it's his. No, no. we just we're, we're going to work wider. We don't play a meat call with our linebackers. A lot of <laughs> a lot of people do because you know, like four three, like Miami. Yeah. Right. They play double me's, and we've talked about that. Uh -huh. You know what I want to do? You know what the tragedy is? This is the film we probably need the most. How am I going to copy this? On John just leave Steve. it with him tonight. Just tell John before he leaves to throw it in. Pick it up. What time is Gary flying up? Well, I'm waiting. Got a 10 so you just got to get up before you do the thing? He's still here. Right. Let's see, here's, here's one. Here was the example I was showing you. Oh, you put eight. trips in the boundary. You're starting over. Is this the game thing? No. Yes, it is, Coach. Oh, this is blue. Tape. Too blue. Too it's too blue. blue. It's not the game. I got the game tape. You want to watch it? No. Uh, you got a lot of adjustments here, Coach. Can you run that back to the beginning? Okay, we're in a wide call. Okay? There's more. Okay. We're in a wide call, so they got trips in the boundary. Right. Starts. You're going to start going to be a sky call, but the guy leaves too soon, so he just goes back to blue in the boundary. Two read and right, down at the bottom. I mean, if they stay trips into the boundary, you... Free safety step in the sky, and we play it like roll. The free safety play like oh, roll. Oh, you come over. Like a breeze call. All right. Okay? Because when they do it, where are they usually coming? Field. Field. But if he sticks it in now and runs it, I mean, this, this is a long tape. This is 100 and some, how many snaps? Here, you, but that's the, here's the, here's the team. Where's the, I want you to watch the game. You need the game. What I, the game wants you can't game. stick it in, and then I come in in the morning, I can't give him that room to. The game must, he must have right now anyway. He does. Well, you could pick it out. Oh, you know, you'll have to come back and, and take it out. And So they started tying in trips in the boundary. It was two read right. The call was wide, two blue solo. Right. Okay? So the weak safety is going to start up to go a sky because you got to have a leverage person with, with trips. Yes. You said there was a solo on it? I don't. There's a solo with it. They didn't call it, but I know it is because I'm yelling from the sidelines. We just I just left it off because he didn't play a solo. The corner didn't when they did the cut up. But now with doubles in there to the boundary. Okay, let's stop for a second, Chuck. Run it where he's at an eye. Bo, stop. He started with tight end trips in the boundary. Right. It was a wide call, so we're two reading right. Okay? But they put trips in, so basically the free safety's gonna play a freeze call. Gotcha. Weak safety started up to do a sky call because you gotta have a force player. Well, they left too soon, so he went back playing blue. Okay? Mm -hmm. He went back to blue or two reading right. Now the tight end's going to come here, so we're still two reading right. They've now did three, you know, two moves. Now they're going to motion the guy. That's when solo should have happened, but the corner didn't come down to it. That one I talked about, he didn't practice for two weeks. Mm -hmm. He should have came down right to this guy. Because yeah. he did a solo, he didn't do, he didn't do anything when we needed to. And you'll see, they're going to, we're going to cover everything over here, then they're going to bring this guy underneath everything. And if we've had a solo along with zone over here, they'd had nothing. And that's what we practiced. You see here, cover two handles, everything here. What do you, do you think he made a roll check? No, because I think he's got a solo call. He just didn't hear the solo or he just didn't go to it. He just didn't go to it. And you're kind of lucky that he didn't because he crossed, so he wouldn't have gone with him anyway, right? No, he wouldn't because he's a wide out. If it's a tight end, we don't go. See, if he would have went across, see, we would have had a man coverage going into his own coverage, which is what they're trying to do. They're trying to clear everybody, 
then bring a guy back underneath him. Now this cat here, so he ought to have yeah. leverage. Up and he said yes. They seen many when they when they put the, uh, the two receivers into the boundary. We've seen many times where you don't really you don't have leverage out there. Yeah. And you're just taking the linebacker and kind of moving into the Yeah, well, the, the key is the five technique. Yeah. And you're playing blue like Jim? Yeah. yeah. Five technique. Okay, we got field G blast, two blue. And our offense will run option back there, too. Right. You got a couple blasts, a couple of blockers out there. Yeah. Okay. The guy that can't block, though, they've got to take a couple blockers. Either got to block the linebacker yeah. in the end. Yeah. This truly didn't have a solo. You're checking roll over here. Now, well, no, they've got the tight ends up at the top. So they started in a sky call. He came back. He went back to Bronco where two reading left. He wanted to check, but that's what he checked it to. Okay, so you got two blue. Yep. So are you reading right? No, because we're a wide call. Oh, I'm right. So, again, he's got it because it's trips at the top. I see, but there's no wide call written up here. Yeah, so it's... You know that because you know you're... I know 33 is the field. Right. No. 33 is he, he's my he's a strong. They go Bronco over there. Yeah. The Bronco, Since he crossed cross short, he looks to one. Bronco involves the inside linebacker. Or no? It tells him it's just like blue. It tells him it's, he plays it just like blue. He's a slice player. Solo is definitely his main. Yeah. He would have played that one the same though, because the guy went to the zone side. Right. Which safety's bad here? He lets number two inside of him. He's going to end up making a great play, but it's not the way it's supposed to be played. Two blue. Russell's gotten good. See the guy, he sees the quarterback look into the boundary real fast. He doesn't even drop the flat at the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the biggest thing is he, so we can pack these up. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, let me get what he's got in there. Let's get it all packed up. I got, uh, we need to have breakfast probably at uh, 8.30, okay? And then I got a few of the game plan things I can talk to you while we eat breakfast, okay? okay? Let me grab these. Here, let me stuff. see here. I brought you some stuff here, too. I need to make a copy. This is what we use for scripts. And give this back to you, right? Please. What else needs to be made a copy of? I need your quality control board.